Hi guys, um, this is part 2 of the uh, tutorial for the authoritative server implementation using Unity, SmartFox and MySQL database. Um, in the previous video, I have talked about some general concept of how to do the authoritative server and um, in this part I'm gonna talk more into detail how this is done, how you can program them and how you can make it work by yourself. Okay, let's get started. Um, firstly, I would like to show you guys how SmartFox and Unity have to be set up. Alright, um, I think you guys know how um, Unity is set up. It's not really that hard. You simply just install the um, the application. Um, I assume you guys have already done that by yourself because most of the people that watch this are already um, familiar with Unity, have already used Unity, and you're just trying to find information on how to make it into an MMO project. So, um, I'm gonna assume that you have the basic knowledge on how to use Unity and how to do programming with Unity, etc. Now, um, the cool part is the SmartFox server. That's the that's the meat here. Now, let me show you um, how SmartFox work. Now, firstly, you have to install SmartFox. Um, it's not really that hard, just, you can just google smartfox2x and you get the result, you can just go to the website and download and install it. There's instruction on how to, do how to download and install it in the website, so you shouldn't have any problem. There you go. You got, yeah, just download the one that is compatible with your OS and install it. Okay, now when you're done, this is a Mac version. I'm just gonna show you the Mac version because I use the Mac one. And you're gonna have to find out the similar way to do this with uh, using a different OS. But this is for Mac. When you install it, you got a new folder called SmartFox Server 2x in your application application server. In Windows, you have to find it maybe in Drive C program file SmartFox Server 2x something like that. And in there you have a folder sfs2x and you got extension so why am I showing showing you this um, like I said SmartFox is the server side and this is where you put your server code so you have to go to the server sfs2x and extension the server code in SmartFox they call it extension and here you go uh, you just create a new folder for the server code that you want to uh, put in SmartFox that you want SmartFox to run. So you can put many different um, server code in here. So you, it, it, what it means is that you can run different game in there. So in this case, I have like FPS. This is the um, this is the code, the sample code that um, SmartFox provide. You can download it and then try it out by yourself and this one is my, um, this is my implementation um, that I've been recording and showing it to you on YouTube and there are many others you can just put as many extensions as you like um, yeah so it's the, the, the server itself is in the form of a, a package jar package which is uh, in Java code. So when you write the extension, you write in Java and then export that as a .jar file and then put it in this folder. Um, um, there is a name con uh, naming convention here. You can name this folder however you want. It's fine. But when uh, the .jar file, you have to end it with extension .jar and before that, you can use any word you want, but um, it has to end with extension.jar with exact um, spelling. 
Otherwise, smart fork will not recognize that as an extension. All right. So this is where you put the server code and how smart fork run. Okay. And I'm gonna show you what smart fork really does. Oh. I have okay. Uh, I have to run smart fork first. Um, what I'm showing you here is that you have the server code, etc. It's got different extension, etc. But how do you make like one client? How do you know this client is connected to what extension, which server? So I'm gonna show you that. Okay, now smart fork is running. And I'm gonna go to smart fork server. There you go. It is in localhost 8080, port 8080. So, because I'm running it on my own machine, so this is the URL for the smart uh, smart box. But if we launch the launch the game, then we have to run the server in on the internet somewhere. Then that will be a different URL here. Anyway, um, I can start do the administration tool. So slash admin and. Uh, we have to log into the um, password. So I log into SmartFox server here. This is where I can configure everything that SmartFox uh, needs to know about the server I want to run. And I'm just going to show you the zone. So in SmartFox, they have the um, two layer of um, administration one is the zone and inside the zone you can have different room um, let me just go here. here you go you have zone and room so this is a different uh, this basic example this zone is actually another game so it's got its own extension here so you have one uh, zone called basic example you have to write an extension for that and that extension will work when, when you have a client, the client will log into that zone and then it will run based on that extension. And in there it has a room. So this is just a basic example. And this is the game that I, uh, that I made. This is uh, my implementation. So I create a new zone called MMO game. And it's got two rooms. One is the lobby. That is what happened when I, um, when I run my game. Um, let's wait. There you go. Um, it tried to log in. Now let enter. The floor. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Commit the frog. Hmm. What? So what's happening? Um, I got problem with log in handler, and oh, that's right. I haven't run the. I haven't run the database server. Damn. We okay, have to restart the server. And I have to restart again as well. Okay. Now the server is starting. You see here, it says the zone MMO game is being initialized. And now it's ready. Now I can start the game. Okay. Alright, now this is the lobby. That, because um, when I log in, it will automatically send me into the lobby. 
that's the default room that will that you will join inside a, a, a zone so every zone always have a lobby room so let me check go to the room and oh, go to zone monitor there you go it's a one here that means it has one user in there and it's in the lobby and that user name is Kermit so yeah that's the uh, the concept in in smartphone it's got zone and room zone is like a game for you and it's got the world all the world simulation all the extension that you want to um, that you want the server to be doing you have to write the extension and put it inside the zone and in there you have different room um, this room will, will act as um, like different part in your game in lobby you can chat with your friend you can see everyone is inside lobby room and you can chat with them etc and then there is a room a room a game room this is start game here is a game room when you join that uh, game the smartphone will smartphone will send the information to your client and the client will start loading the game level and you can start playing um, this um, you can read about this later in smartphone I don't want to go into too, uh, too much detail in there because I want to go forward and show you guys how thing is done and yeah give you some other um, idea about how authoritative server work and how my example work this is like um, it's a little too technical into smart fox you have to study that um, um, yeah you have to study that using documentation or something like that later and you can ask me later about this if you want but right now I just want to stick to the topic all right um, now you kind of get the idea about the zone the room and smart fox server how it will work now uh, you have this extension but I haven't shown you how uh, to connect the extension to the, the zone it's got the e configuration here and in the zone here configuration you got the zone extension and like I showed you before in this guy um, it's got extension it's got called MMO and in there it's got MMO extension not jar and that MMO here this will be, will be shown in here when you put in the, the, the correct name inside the folder called MMO it's got something and then end with extension.jar it will recognize that and it will show up in here so you can choose um, in that zone you can choose what whichever extension you want to use so just choose the right extension and its type is Java and this is the main class called MMO extension so in, in that extension I have many different classes that can be used as the main class so you can just select the, the correct one and then just click submit so that's it um, that's how smartfox um, work as the server and how you can write the, the code and compile it and then put it into smartfox and then make it work let me just show you a little bit about uh, the code for the server here is the server code um, I'm using Eclipse IDE. You can use whichever uh, IDE you want as long as you can um, write in, in Java or some other language that is compatible with Smartphone. I'm not sure what other language, but I think the main one is Java and I think it should be the, the, the best one, the most comfortable one. So uh, in here I have different, many different stuff in here. I got handlers, I have simulation, I have utility, but the the one uh, the main one this is the main one is called MMO extension so everything that the client sent to the server will pass through the MMO extension and then the MMO extension will delegate the responsibility to other handler so and here it's called a class called init and in there it will uh, have uh, handler it will add handler and it will bind the code name or something some kind of uh, identify identification word I, and then it will bind that to the appropriate handler you can uh, like this one the transform is it bind to a class called uh, sentence form handler which is this one so whenever the package is sent from the client has the keyword sentence form um, MMO extension will 
pass that package to sentence form handler. Same for other stuff like get time, our time name, etc. etc. Alright, now let me just walk you through how I uh, how I uh, synchronize the how I synchronize the position from one avatar to other avatar like when I'm moving other avatar other client will see my movement 